Hi, it's Rachel here from Offroad CC and today from my cold and snowy back garden I'll be taking a look at the new Vitus Summit 27. So, as you might know, here at Offroad CC we like to test bikes at the more budget end of the scale. So, for this Vitus test I've opted to test the base aluminium model in the Summit range. So, the Summit range is 27.5 wheel bikes, all with 160mm of rear travel and now for 2019, 170mm up front. So they're designed to be the more aggressive, long travel enduro bikes in the Vitus range. Our Summit 27 or 27 comes in at 1700 quid, which is quite a big chunk of cash less than the next model up, which is the Vitus Summit 27 VR at 2100 pounds. Our bike that we've got on test comes equipped with Manitou Matok Comp Fork. Um, this has got a 34mm stanchion, a 44mm offset, and you can adjust the overall compression and rebound damping. At the rear, there's a RockShox Deluxe RT shock with a trinium mount to deal with that 160mm of rear travel. And then elsewhere on the bike, there's a real mix of kit. So it's a SRAM NX Mech and Shifter. That's got a Sun Race cassette and Sun Tour Zero on 170mm cranks. Um, and then a threaded bottom bracket. To stop the bike, there's Shimano MT500 two-piston brakes with 203mm rotors front and rear. Um, and then the wheels are their ever-popular W2B ST i29s on Novatech hubs. And they've got two Maxxis Minion DHFs. Um, they're 2.5s and the rear one is also 2.5, a wide trail and a double down. Um, there's a Brand X Descend drop post which is 120mm on this medium model. So if you ride a small bike you get 100mm dropper and on the large and extra large bikes there's a 150mm post. So 120mm on a medium isn't that long and I might expect 150mm usually um, but I suspect that they need to use shorter drops because the overall length of these posts are quite long. So the 150mm post actually uh, actually measures 480mm where this one measures just 410mm um, so it allows shorter riders to get more insertion in the seat tube before it meets that point where the seat tube stops and the shock goes through the seat tube. Um, elsewhere, the cockpit is nuke-proof gear with 780mm wide bars, uh, Vitus 50mm stem, um, which I might actually swap out for a 35mm one and see how that goes. The updates in respect to last year's bike include the 11-speed drivetrain rather than the 10 for this price bike, um, more aggressive tyres and 170mm forks rather than 160mm. Um, so that longer forks likely have changed the geometry just slightly, um, so slightly set like a head angle slightly slacker um, seat tube angle and then raise the bottom bracket by a fraction. Um, the geometry for this bike, same as last year, uses all the keywords so it's long, slack and low. Um, the reach on this medium is 453mm, um, it's got a 433mm seat tube, 65 degree head angle and a 74.5 degree effective seat tube angle. This does leave on the medium, the top tube a little bit stretched out at 616mm but it's not that indifferent to my long term test bike, the Kotic Rocket, so I reckon I'll get on with it pretty well. The chain stays are 435mm and the wheelbase comes in at really respectable 1205mm, that's for the medium. So I'm pretty keen to see what 1700 quid's worth in Durabyte will do. Um, it's actually Friday here, um, so to you watching this on YouTube or on the site, that's last Friday going to get out on the bike tomorrow weather dependent and be back soon with a full review on off-road cc so thanks very much for watching and we'll catch up soon for that review